Hello and welcome to a Vector Tut's quick tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and today we're going to take a look at the print booklet feature in Adobe InDesign. Print booklet lets you create printer spreads from your documents so the pages will appear in the correct order when the booklet is folded and collated. For example, I have this little eight page booklet and I can use print booklet which will print the pages out of numerical order but in an order that will make them read in the right order once it's printed. So in this example, my page size is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, or one half of a letter size sheet of paper. Pages one and eight will be printed next to one another, and on the other side of that sheet will be pages two and seven. Pages four and five will be the centerfold, and pages six and three will be printed on the other side of that sheet. This process is called imposition, and there's a lot of standalone software that professional printers use to do this. So you may send them a simple eight page booklet and they'll print them all on one large double sided sheet of paper, then trim and fold and bind them together. And this is all calculated to make the printing fast and efficient with the least amount of waste. So here's my InDesign document and the pages are in numerical order. I've just put these giant numbers on the page so we can tell at a glance which is which. I'll open the pages panel and you can see them there. And of course, this is how you would design a booklet from the first page to the last especially if you have text that's going from one page to the next, it would be crazy making to try to jump from page two to page seven, then back to page three and then to page six. So you always design in reader spreads, that is the order in which the booklet will be read. And the imposition process will output them in printer spreads. So to output printer spreads, we use print booklet. And that's under the file menu all the way here at the bottom. Right now, my dialog is set to output a postscript file, which is an option if you want to create a PDF. I'll change this to the default setting, which shows my desktop printer here, just your typical home office printer. Right away, I notice a warning icon over here on the left. So I'll click that section and I can see that my paper is not oriented correctly. The warning message is telling me that the booklet doesn't fit the current page size, but I can see that all I have to do is rotate it to fit, so I'll click Print Settings. And this just gives me the regular print dialog box. Here's my printer, and I'll just go over to Setup and change the orientation, and when I click OK, we're good to go. You can scroll through the previews here, and you'll notice that InDesign places a little page number on the previews, so you can tell which is which. Your booklet, after all, will not be made up of pages with giant numbers on them. So now you can just click Print. In this case, I might choose to print only the first and third spreads, then flip the pages over and print the second and fourth on the other side, so then I could fold each piece of paper and have my eight page booklet. There are a lot more options in the print booklet feature for different kinds of bindings and how you might want to set the margins and the gap between pages and so on. But I hope you have a better understanding of imposition and how you can do it yourself with print booklet. 